Hi folks. As you can see, these tree bees here have decided to build their hive inside this brick pillar on top of an old great tit's nest. The great tits successfully nested in here last year and brought up their youngsters. Well now, this will give me a great opportunity to video the habits and lifestyle of these tree bees. Bye for now folks, bye. He's a tree bee worker collecting pollen from this flower. Let's follow this one back to his hive in the brick wall to see what goes on in there. Okay. The smaller bees here are female worker bees. They stay at home and become house bees. They can move easily between the cocoon cells and their task is to do all the chores to keep the hive nest running smoothly. The larger bees here are also female worker bees. Their task is to go out amongst the flowers and search for pollen to bring it back as food for the hive. Here's one of the tree bees from the hive, collecting pollen from old granny's bonnet plant to take back to the nest. The larger bees still are male drone bees. They'll stay in the nest for two or three days, then they leave and don't return. But you'll see those hanging around the entrance of the hive, hopefully waiting for a virgin queen bee to emerge so they can mate with her. If the nest is disturbed, Worker bees will also double up as guard bees and they can sting you if need be. Here we can see a bee larva or grub moving around in its cocoon cell. The next stage of this bee grub will be to pupate, which will last about two weeks. Then it will turn into a bee, which will eat its way out of its cocoon and become a fully member bee to the hive. Ah, here's the queen bee going around and about doing her duties in her nest. This queen, after her winter hibernation, started this nest here in mid-February when the weather was nice and warm.
Here we can see a newly emerged bee cleaning its tongue like proboscis. The sole purpose of this hive is to produce queen bees who will produce the next generation of tree bees. The bee's nest is showing its age now and only produces virgin queen bees and male drone bees. And no food has been carried back into the nest by the worker bees. The bees in the hive are living off its food reserves. It's time now for the new virgin queens who have emerged from their cocoon cells to begin to leave the nest and mate with the male drone bees. Here we can see a virgin queen just about to leave the nest. No sooner had she left the hive, she was caught by a, a male drone bee and with a struggle and a small flight and with the drone still on her back managed to find a more suitable place where they could carry on with their mating. And as you can see here, here's a nice close-up view of their activity. Hi there folks, well it's June the 14th now and there's been no bee activity in all around the hive. The virgin queens have all left the nest and the male drone bees have done their job by mating with them. The hive has completed its mission and produced a lot of queen bees who will build their own nest next year and so carry on with the next generation of tree bees. And now the hive has come to the end of its natural life and only the queen bees will survive the winter. And the rest of the worker and drone tree bees will just die off at the end of the summer. Well folks, I hope you have enjoyed my little video about these important little insects, the tree bees. Bye for now. Bye.